The only reason why I say this is really easy is if you guys go back, remember those properties of logs? Do you guys remember the properties of logs? We wrote them down last class period. There's a couple properties that we had. One was ln. If I have ln of e to the x, that just equals x, right? So therefore, let's plug this in. Three. Done. Now, let me just go back to you. If you're like, oh, I should have used that property. Well, how? let's say you forgot the properties, right? How does that even work? Could you do the original way that I showed you? Yeah, of course you can. Let's convert this to exponential form. Remember, there's a base e here, right? ln has a base e. Yes? So let's convert this to exponential form. e raised to the f of x equals e to the third. f of x is your variable, right? It could be e to the y equals e to the third. You guys did a lot of these. If you have a number raised to a power and another number raised to the same base as raised to the power, what does this, what does this power have to be? It has to be the same, which is 3. 3, right? So therefore, you can easily just go and do it that. So you, you can follow the same process, or you can just go to our property and say, oh, base e of e is that. Log base 3 of 3 is just goes to 1, right? So you're just left with your exponent. Cool? All right.